think it's fair to say, now that we're past 5 p.m., 5.25 to be precise, that the weekend has begun. What are you up to? We asked some Torontonians to share their plans. Well, I'm going to be working a lot on my website, which is uh, called The Dot Eaters. It's uh, at www.thedoteaters.com, and it's uh, a history of video games from about 1950 to uh, 1983, 1984, and I'll be doing a lot of work on that in preparation for um, our uh, launch party. Uh, Relaunching the website, it's been online 15 years, so we've redesigned it, we've added some more content, we've made it a lot easier to navigate, and uh, presenting the content, historical content, in a better way that people can uh, read about it and uh, learn about the history of video games. It's going to be on Thursday, May the 16th. It's at a restaurant called uh, Saviari Canadian Video Games. At the time time period I'm talking about, there weren't really a... Canada wasn't a big producer of video games. Of course, that's totally changed now. It's a huge hub for video game production for mobile games and even large-scale uh, productions like the UBI Soft and other companies in Toronto and Vancouver and Montreal all across Canada are actually producing them now. But back in the day, they really weren't making too many. 